What's going on guys? Andrew here and on this installment of 2 Minute Tech, we're talking about LED strips, how they work, and how you can use them to spice up the inside of your PC. Unbeknownst to most people, there are actually two types of LED strips, analog and digital. Analog LED strips tend to come in one color with some having the capability of you being able to change what that color is. Such is the case with the LED strip I have here from Fantex. These LED strips require 12 volts to operate and either come with a controller, or in my case, an adapter cable for use with my compatible motherboard. The motherboard in my PC, the ASUS Z270 Maximus 9 Hero, has two headers on the board specifically for use with RGB LED strips. This is possible due to the fact that the motherboard already runs on 12 volts supplied by the power supply. Any included controller boxes would also have the capability of converting some other voltage to 12 volt for use with the LED strips. Changes in voltage in each of the three color channels are what allow for RGB strips to display a chosen color. Zero voltage yields an off state, while a full 12 volts in each channel would yield white. But what about digital LED strips? Well, they're not too prominent yet, since motherboard and case support is a bit scarce at the moment, but there is a company that has been using digital LED strips for quite some time. If you can guess what it is, 10 points to you. NZXT was the answer I was looking for, folks. Their Hue Plus lighting kit contains digital RGB LED strips. And what makes digital LED strips so much different than their analog cousins is that each LED on the strip is uniquely addressable. In other words, each LED on a strip can be changed to whatever color you want. These LED strips run on 5 volts and are not compatible with analog strips or headers. Digitally addressable LED strips do give the user many more options in terms of effects, which I actually did a demo on in an earlier video. I used to use the Hue Plus when I was still using the NZXT H440 case, but decided to move on to a more cohesive LED lighting experience. The parts I chose to light my case all work with Asus's Aura software, down to the sticks of RAM, and I'm quite content with how it looks. But that may change in the near future. I've been kind of looking at the Cooler Master H500P, which would also work with my Aura compatible lighting accessories. There may be a case upgrade in the near future. This was Andrew with another installment of 2 Minute Tech, and I'm signing off.